<sighs> okay, so I hate to do this video. I really do. But honestly, guys, like, there's nothing you can do, right? You buy a piece of hardware and it goes bad. You're just kind of stuck if it, if the war if they won't honor the warranty and stuff. But it's a real bummer because I had a graphics card burnout on me. It was one month past the expiration. One month. So I kind of got to tell you guys, don't buy this graphics card. And buy this graphics card. I kind of mean this brand. I hate to do it because Sapphire has traditionally been one of the top-notch brands of AMD cards. So the fact that this one burned out in two years really upsets me. And the fact that it burned out under incredibly light use. Let's look at this guy real quick. I just, I just want you to get a close view of this guy. I have not cleaned this thing. I have not dusted it. I have not touched it. If you look here at the fins, you can see there is like virtually no dust at all built up. If we can kind of get a view here of this PCB board, look at how clean that is. Look at the fins inside my fans here. So this thing got very light use and it burned out on me. In fact, I'm gonna show it to you real quick. We'll show you exactly what it's doing. The computer fires up just fine. Don't have any issues. As you can see, all my lighting is still working great. Um, got my Sapphire logo, all of my RGB. Whoa. That's really cool. I even put it in this computer. <laughs> video failed. <laughs> it's working. So we're going to turn this video into a video gaming session. <laughs> Woo! You know, Rise of the Tomb Raiders were fun games to play. I didn't play Shadow, but uh, the original, the first Tomb Raider and Rise. Have I healed my graphics card? Am I a miracle worker? No, I'm not. But... It does seem like my graphics card's healed. This is very weird. Could it maybe? There's just a Windows 10 update that completely freaked this card out. I was all ready to be like, hey, don't buy this card. Um, and I guess there's one other problem. So I put up a case with Sapphire and they told me, well, and I said, look it, I, I looked at the date on the purchase. My warranty's like barely over. It's a two year warranty. I'm a month over. And I explained to them, I've got, I've, I've barely used this card. It shouldn't have done this to me. And so I went through this whole thing and said, well, we don't hand, so Sapphire first one, well, we don't handle warranty. You're going to have to talk to Athlon Micro. And I'm like, that's weird. So I've dealt with warranty services through Asus and EVGA and in the past. And I've still worked with their company. And so Athlon Micro kind of handles their U.S. side. Not ideal. And so I told them, I talked to Athlon Mike, they said there's nothing they can do. I even asked if they could at least let me send the card in, the last, you know, explaining the things that are going on. Asked them that there's something that they do instead of just leaving me here with to eat the cost of this card. Now, here's where it really upset me, right? Their final response to me was this. I'm sorry to hear that. Here with the ticketing system, we can only direct you to contact your local point office for help on this matter. We will not be able to help you from here. When I'm dealing with this stuff here, guys, this is this is the whole point of why I, I'm still a little leery. If you buy this card because you're hoping it's a really high quality graphics card, and you're hoping it's gonna, because you know, you get to buy a card like once every three to five years, and you scrounge up some money, you save, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna get a really good quality one, I'm just gonna so I can have it for a long time, and then after a while I will have to upgrade, but I just need it to last me because I don't get to do this very often. This is the kind of support you're going to get. And I just, I'm like, guys, I don't want you to be in the same boat I am, where you're looking at the potential of a burnout card, and you were hoping to get those long... And I, I said, my life, I've put minimal hours. Here's what really upsets me. There are people with their mining GPUs, and I guarantee you, they are burning these cards out in weeks. In weeks. Because they'll get a bad one, but they're putting 24-7 load on these cards. They burn it out. They claim it in on warranty. Get sent a new one because, oh, I burned it up. Gaming. Oh, I wasn't doing anything I'm not supposed to do with it. And so they're getting to take advantage of these warranties. And here's the, me. I have never done any mining. I've never done anything other than play around a little bit with Coinbase on cryptocurrency. But I've never touched it on my graphics cards. I just want something that I can work on and play on when I get a chance. And the company's going to tell me, well, we don't, I can't cover you for that. That's not good. 
So when you're buying a card, I hate to say it guys, but as much as Sapphire looks like they've got some good quality products, their warranty situation could leave you up a creek. Keep that in consideration. Now here's my final challenge to graphics cards makers. This is like a full computer guys. Like the graphics processing unit, that's like a CPU. The RAM chips that are around that graphics processing, like the RAM sticks in your card. There's a MOF set and a power, like the full, this whole PCB board, kind of like the motherboard. Like this is like a computer within a computer that runs your games in your, your graphics loads. Why don't we have somebody that puts a chip and warranties this off of hours used? Imagine this, you could have a chip that says, I don't know what would be inappropriate, but let's just say, I'm just spitballing here, 100,000 hours, you, warrantied for 100,000 hours of, of, full, of, of max use or five years, whichever comes first. So that way, if you have a card that you lightly use and they, they, they look at the chip and go, huh, wow, this person only put like 50,000 hours on this card, they only used half of what it's supposed to and it burned out in four years, they could honor the warranty because they know, okay, well, you just obviously lightly used it and that's why it lasted that long. And you, you don't need to eternally lifelong, you know, eventually it doesn't matter. These things are going to go obsolete. So they're only useful for probably five years tops. But imagine if a company did that. I challenge some company to give a warranty where they put a, t a counter on these things so that they can see how much is being used. Here's the other thing. <laughs> Miners. Yeah. So they're putting these things through 24-7 full load use. They may cut down the clocks, but it's 100% use. They could eat up those, these warranties in a matter of six months or less with the 24-7 with the use. And then these cards burn up. The manufacturer could say, we can clearly see from our counter that you have already put such and such hours into the card. We don't need to warranty that. What does that do? A, it makes miners pay for the cost of the GPUs that they've spiked up through the roof instead of just getting a bunch of free ones because they can RMA whenever they want. And that would help the gaming market. But hey, guys, I have a card that's back. I'm going to give it a run. If it gives me problems, we'll do an update video. So keep that in mind with Sapphire. Like I said, they still make cool cards. I, I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't buy, but just keep in mind that's my experience. There's some ideas of some things that maybe can help change the industry. Let's see how it goes. Maybe my card will work for me and I won't have to worry about it. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, of course, I guess ring that bell, all that jazz. And otherwise, I'll catch you later.